Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com This tutorial will look at creating a macro to remove blank rows in an Excel spreadsheet Very common question I get, especially when importing data from some external database that you know, you'll get a list of data, a table of data in Excel and there will be some rows uh, with, with no data, some blank rows uh, we've got a real basic example of that on screen at the moment. You can see there's three blank rows in 6, 7 and 8. There's another one in 21. Uh, and I think there's a few more further down this, this sheet that I've manually inserted to try and create this scenario. Now, there are many ways in Excel of working with blank rows. Um, due to the nature of Excel, these are provided in a way of sorting data, which will group the blank rows together, filtering out the blanks, uh, go to special technique to select all blank cells. There are multiple ways of doing it, but none of them are perfect. Depending on what you're trying to achieve and what you're trying to do to them, you, know, you may not want your data sorted. You now, filtering will target the blank cell in one column, and is a bit of a laborious process. So there are many techniques, neither are perfect. If this is something we do regularly, a macro will win hands down, and our macro will also look at the whole row to ensure there are no data in any of the cells and that's what we're going to do now the macro is already created for us so we're just going to have a look at the code this code is also in the description of this video so feel free to copy and paste the code from the description of this video to have a look at this code i'm going to pop to my developer tab click on my visual basic button and here we can see in module one I have uh, the code that we've used. I'm just going to have a quick look at this to get an understanding of what's going on. So I've created a sub procedure called remove rows. Here's our macro. It has two variables. One of them which will capture uh, the last row of our data. So our macro will know when to stop. And then uh, another one which we've called is empty. Which is going to decide whether the row should be deleted or not. And we can see as we look through here, last row is assigned however many records there are in column A. So that will know what the last row would be. Obviously, as each row is deleted, you know, the, the, the number of rows of our data changes. So we've chosen the count A technique to count how many records do we have. So that will be how many there are. Uh, you know, start a cell, going to A1 to start at the top of the list. And then we've got a do while loop, which will do it until... The row that you're currently in um, is not less than uh, than whatever we found as the last row, within the last row variable. Then we find out if the entire row is a blank or not. It is empty captures you know how how many how much data is there in that row. If it equals zero, then it must be blank. Anything other than zero, there's something in it. And then it's quick. Uh, if then else statement just saying yeah, if it equals zero then you must be blank so delete the row if not move down a cell and it will just continue around this loop now have i reached the end no yeah find out how much data is in cell if it equals zero delete it if not move down and so on this works an absolute treat you know when we're finished with this and if i close down this uh, vbe now let's come back to my data yeah, in an ideal world, we'd you know we'd create a button now on our on our toolbar. Where if we're in 2010, we can put it on the ribbon here, um, or maybe even on the sheet to to the side or something like that, uh, allowing us to very easily run uh, this macro. Easy for anybody, not just herself as well. Uh, any colleagues in or not so so Excel savvy, uh, anyone can easily run this. Uh, it's, yeah, it's fast, not time consuming and are readily available. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. hope you enjoy uh, many of our other tips and tutorials at computergargod.com.